just did the numbers with my calculator here, folks. This house right here. This is a nice house, okay? It's in a very nice little neighborhood. I'm going to show you how I can pay you $531,000 to live in this house, right? You're going to get paid $531,000 to live here, right? So if you're a young cat out there, young cat, young gun, right? You're like coming out of high school, 18, 19, 20, 21, something like that. Pay attention. What I'm about to show you, it's called house hacking. I did it when I was 21. I want you to do the same. I'm going to get you 531K. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV and I help people make money, invest in real estate, right? I help people accomplish their real estate goals, right? And I'm going to show you guys how to get 531K, right? But I'm doing it specifically for a client of mine, all right? His name is Eli. Eli, you're a young kid, young cat out of Cleveland, okay? And we're going to be doing a little something called house hacking, right? You're just getting started in the game, brother. And the first thing you got to do is take care of home base. I tell everybody that, right? I think a lot of you guys out there that watch a lot of my shows, I tell you guys, oh, man, I love quads, quads, because it's the best financing, right? And I go into my normal spiel. I'm sure some of you could pretty much recite it at this point. And I explain to you I love quads so much because it's the most amount of rent you could get when you get a residential mortgage. Residential mortgages are by far the best type of mortgage. The only downside to them is you could only do them on singles, doubles, triplexes, and quads, and you could only get 10 of them, right? And then I go on to say something like, I'd rather get 36 rental income checks instead of 9. Why not 40 instead of 10? Because I tell everybody to take care of home base first. Get your own home, right? But your own home don't have to be a quad. It could be a double. It could be a single. It could be whatever. Today we're talking about a double, right? We're talking about a double for you, Eli. And it's a nice little double, right? You said you want to start house hacking. I house hacked. My first ever house was in this city, Parma, right? Parma, Ohio. Nice little B-grade neighborhood. It's a nice area, right? The numbers, they get sexier the rougher the neighborhood. But, folks, you got to live there. If you want to live in a nice location, pick a location you like, and the numbers could probably work with the strategy. I started out in Parma, loved it. I still own that house today. I bought it when I was 21 years old, right? So we're going to be doing the math based upon a 21-year-old buyer, right? And the math is going to come out to $531,000, okay? $531,000. Actually, I lied. It's going to be $531,000 plus, like, you could technically sell it or give it to your heirs. But we'll get into that. It might be, like, seven hundred. dollars But anyway, 531 is the savings. Now, it could happen, and it could happen for you, Eli, on this particular deal, okay? 5224 West 52nd Parma, all right? The price is 155 k but in reality, we're going to get you 531 k And this is exactly how to do it. Oh, commercial break. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Put the link and buy the course! Welcome back. Had to get that commercial break in there. You know, we got sponsors, baby. Woo! We got sponsors. Now, here's how it's going to work out, brother. Here's how it's going to work out. Work with me. Walk with me. Let me just cruise through the rest of the photos for you before we even get into those numbers. Right? It's a nice little duplex, okay? It's totally vacant. It's move-in ready, bro. Like, is this luxury living? No. But we're trying to get you living for free. We're trying to pay you over a half a million dollars to live there. Right? You could totally live here. Looks good, right? And then you're going to put a tenant in the other unit, okay? House hacking. We're going to make you some dough, right? This is a great little spot. Move-in ready. Uh, it's not the Ritz-Carlton, but it'll work. Parma, nice, solid little B-grade neighborhood, okay? 5224 West 52nd. They want 155000 First off, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to try to pick it up for a little cheaper. I don't want you to pay 155 I want you to pay 140 And here's how the whole thing's going to shake out. 
It's going to be a 2-1 each unit, okay? You're going to live in one unit. We're going to get you a tenant. Well, you're going to get a tenant, right? You're now the landlord. You don't need me to manage it. You're fucking living there. You got this, bro. You got this. $750 is what that tenant's going to pay you. So every year, you're going to be getting nine Gs from your tenant. Now, in reality, though, there's costs. It's not a pure nine Gs in profit. Don't forget about your costs. Eventually, you have to do repairs and maintenance, a comp you know, a uh, <clears throat> account for vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, things of that nature. Then you got property taxes. You got insurance. You got the tenants' utilities they're going to utilize, things of that. You don't pay lawn care. You don't pay PM because you're doing that, right? So in reality, that uh, 9000 is going to get spent up with some of those costs, right? That's going to leave you fourteen thirty thirty six in pure profit, pure profit from that tenant. Now, here's how it shakes out. You buy it for one hundred forty k. You only got to put down like three and a half percent, so almost nothing. So you're only going to put down four thousand nine hundred bucks, right? So, guys, a lot of you guys are out there renting. You don't need a lot of money. You don't need to be renting. You're just pissing your money away. I'm going to show you how much. You're going to piss away $531,000 if you keep renting. Stick with me. Save up $4,900, okay? You save up $4,900. The bank's going to loan you the other $131,100, right? With the NOI we got. So all your bills are being paid for. In the NOI we got, that's $119 in pure free cash flow, $1430 for the year. You got your mortgage payment though, okay? Your mortgage payment's 570, right? 570. That means your total living expense is 451. You have to pay $451 a month to live there. $5,410 a year. That's what it's going to cost. Housing ain't free, right? I know, I know there's a lot of liberals that think it should be, but it's America and it's not. 100% American, 0% socialist. Housing ain't free. You got to pay for it, but you're getting a tenant to pay for it, right? So your housing cost is $5,410 to own this home. But here's the thing. That is a living cost difference of $299 a month or $3,588. By buying this house, your actual costs, what you spend to actually live, to have somewhere to sleep, to have somewhere to eat, if Lord willing, to have somewhere to get lucky with a lovely lady, right? You're saving $299 a month or $3,588 a year by being the owner, by being the landlord, as opposed to the renter, right? That's your difference, right? Because there's going to be a cost associated with you living somewhere your whole life because you're alive, and that's just how it works. But this saves you $3,588. But let's take that even further. What's the true savings, right? Because that 3588 that 5410 right? That's 3588 cheaper than what you'd have to spend. But that 5410 that you actually are spending, you're not paying that to a landlord, bro. You're paying it to yourself because that money, you're paying off your loan. It's going back in the form of equity. So your true savings, if you were just a renter like your renter, you'd have to pay seven fifty dollars a month or $9,000 a year. Now, this is where it gets good. This is where people got to understand this is why you take care of home base first. Yeah, Holton Wise, you can see our trucks all over town. You see our signs everywhere. You see this or that. Sold over $200 million worth of real estate. Yeah, like we make a lot of money, bro, but guess where it starts? Right here in a little Parma house doing this when you're 21 years old. That $9,000 of savings, bro, okay? What do people live to these days? Like 80, right? We're going to say 80, okay? Hopefully you can make it to 80, Eli. Me? I don't know. I eat a lot of chicken wings. I don't know if I'll get to 80. But let's say you're going to get to 80, brother. It's $9,000 a year that you don't have to pay in rent for 59 years, bro. That's $531,000. And then you're going to kick the can, right? You're going to hit the, do the old little uh, dirt nap there, right? But maybe you don't do the, or say you do do the dirt nap. You also forgot to forget, you still got a house now that's probably by then, 59 years from now, I'm sure it's worth at least 200 grand, maybe 300 grand. So that's what I was alluding to earlier, right? It's 531, but you also had, you have this two, $300,000 asset, man. So now you can give that to your children or your grandchildren or 
maybe you don't actually die when you're 80, but you're like <laughs> a freaking vegetable and you got to go to an old folks home. Well, great. Your kids, they could sell this two, three hundred thousand dollar house to pay for your aftercare. So you're not a burden on them. OK, all things that would not be possible. Without house hacking, without buying that house when you were young, folks, this is why if you Google how much the net worth is of the average homeowner versus the average tenant, you'll see that home ownership is the key to building wealth in the United States of America. And this, Eli, is exactly how we're going to do that for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.